Hello student, in this video we will discuss about the properties of ITU. In previous video also we have to discuss, already we have discussed some properties of ITU. Now in this video, x sin inverse 1 by x is equal to cosec inverse x. Okay, and x belonging to minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity. Let's see how to prove cosec inverse 1 by uh, cosec inverse x we can write here. Uh, let's just see a theta. So x is equal to cosec theta. Now take the reciprocal. So reciprocal 1 by x, 1 by cos x and 1 by cos x we have to write sin theta. Now here we can write here theta is equal to sin inverse 1 by x and what is theta here? Cosec inverse x is equal to sin inverse 1 by x okay now one more thing about the x if you want to write so x if here we can use the case also here x belonging to minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity and 1 by x so where it, this will belong belong to minus 1 to 1 minus 0 because x can't be 0 and what about theta so theta is belonging to here minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and minus 0 okay already we are knowing this uh, things in uh, uh, property first and second property we have already restricted domain and range okay for this trigonometric function is invertible okay so on the same patterns we can write here second property cos inverse 1 by x is equal to sec inverse x okay and x is belonging to again minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity again if you want to prove this so on the same patterns we can prove here okay but third case in uh, third one tan inverse 1 by x we are getting here two cases if x is greater than 0 so tan inverse 1 by x is cot inverse x okay if x less than 0 so minus pi plus cot inverse x okay so that case just we have to prove here for understanding let's see okay first case if x greater than 0 okay so if x greater than 0 so already we are knowing here the value of theta so theta is belong to like let here first let cot inverse x is equal to theta okay so x is equal to cot theta so if x equal to cot theta and uh, cot is invertible so theta is belong to where that is belong to 0 to pi okay this is knowing already we okay but here x greater than 0 so in 0 to pi we are getting two quadrant first and second quadrant but x is greater than 0 in only first quadrant so we have to write here theta here theta is greater than 0 and less than pi by 2 so if theta is greater than 0 and less than pi by 2 so we can write here let's take the reciprocal so 1 by x is equal to 1 by cot means tan theta okay so x is not equal to 0 already we have taken theta theta is lying between 0 and pi by 2 so we we are knowing here restricted domain of tan is what is minus minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 so 0 to pi by 2 already we are getting here theta so we can write here theta is equal to tan inverse 1 by x and theta what is here cot inverse x is equal to tan inverse 1 by x okay in first case in second case if x less than 0 okay if x less than 0 that means which quadrant we have to consider 0 to pi so negative where will be cot theta is equal to x and x is negative that means in second quadrant so theta is belonging to here pi by 2 to pi okay so let's see but we are converting in tan form so we have to also check theta should be lying between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 so what we have to do here we have to bring in this interval okay so this we have to minus okay this we have to minus pi 
from which the three terms so pi by 2 minus pi and theta minus pi and pi minus pi means 0 I just write first and just make 0 so pi by 2 minus pi will be minus pi by 2 and here theta minus pi and this is 0 okay but if you are writing here uh, pi minus theta so we will get the different things okay so we have to also check about this because we have to bring in this interval minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 that's why we are minusing here pi from each three, term, three terms now theta minus pi we are getting that interval so we have to write here 1 by x is equal to tan theta minus pi we have to write okay so theta minus pi is equal to tan inverse 1 by x okay so we can after this theta minus pi so we have to write here after this the same writing tan inverse 1 by x is equal to minus pi plus theta theta what is a cot inverse x okay so that's why this case is very important okay why we are uh, taking pi by 2 minus pi so just we have to remember all the restricted domain range of trigonometric function and then we have to apply in different cases okay let's see next property next property is sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 okay where x belong to minus 1 to 1 okay so how to prove let sine inverse x is equal to theta okay so x is equal to sine theta now on the place of sine we can write cos pi by 2 minus theta okay so one more thing is if you want to use the case here so x is belonging to here minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 okay so if you check here uh, here we if you write the case so x belonging to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 okay now and about the cos here if you check here so cos restrict domain what is 0 to pi so now pi by 2 minus theta also we have to check this is lying in that interval or not okay so here theta belong to pi by 2 minus minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 now let's take the minus so if we'll take the minus pi by 2 minus theta and just suppose that firstly just take the minus okay so pi by 2 and here minus theta and minus pi by 2 okay now again we have to add here pi by 2 so pi by 2 here we have to add pi by 2 here also we have to add pi by 2 so what we can get here this is okay here we can get pi and pi by 2 minus theta and this is 0 so pi by 2 minus theta is lying between pi by 2 minus theta it line belong to 0 to pi so that means this is no problem because cos pi by 2 minus pi by 2 angle this angle is lying between 0 to pi so as it is as we had right so we can write here cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 minus theta okay so theta just bring in this side so theta plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 and theta what is here sin inverse x so sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 okay now next property here on the same patterns second one sec inverse x plus cosec inverse x is equal to also pi by 2 where x belong to minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity on the same pattern as we have to solve okay and tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 where x belong to real number so what we are getting here pattern that means uh, if uh, uh, we have to take two trigonomic inverse trigonometric function in which we are getting the same domain like here in sine inverse and cos inverse we are getting the same domain and in sec inverse and cosec inverse also we are we are getting the same domain 
and tan inverse and cot inverse x also we are getting the same domain okay and the value will be their sum will be pi by 2 okay on the same pattern we have to solve okay so we will discuss some uh, new property okay of itf in next video